Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how we can avoid duplicates with our extraction. Let me give you an introductory example. Here I have the table representing the employees of my company. And if I take a closer look, I can see there's here at position two, this Hans Müller, who works in research, started somewhere in 2016. Later, he's listed again in sales. At this point, well, we could assume there's two guys with the same name, but let's at the moment assume that's the same person and HR just made a mistake and when he switched from research to sales, they didn't just fix his status, they just entered him again. And well, if you now want to run a query with only the names of the people working for your company, for example, you want to print Christmas cards or something like this, then we could use the same query we prepared earlier. This would actually give us this result. And the problem with this would be, Hans Müller would be actually here twice in the same data set. So he would get two Christmas cards, which wouldn't be this much of a problem, but well, could also turn out in a not so nice way. For example, if he gets two invoices. So how could we avoid something like this? How could we avoid extracting more or less the same data set twice? That can easily be fixed. I'm just going back to the SQL view and behind the select, I'm going to put a distinct. Distinct means avoid duplicates. So whenever there's a case where the same variable or the same combination exists twice, thrice, or even more than this, he will only take the first entry. So if I just run this again, we can see here at this point, there's only one Hans Müller left. However, we see something else as well. While there is only one Hans Müller, there's actually still three guys named Hans. That's the reason, because when I tell him select distinct, he works regarding both variables he extracts. So, so he goes for the combination first name and last name. The first name might exist more than once. The last name might exist more than once. But the combination of first and last name, this one will exist only once. So the whole entry as reported, oops, as reported in the table will be unique. And well, that's already everything there is. So if you want to avoid duplicates, use select distinct and not only select. This brings us to our end. So I hope you enjoyed this. I say goodbye and see you next time.